Hi, I'm Danny Ecker with your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. In a risky deal to rescue Prudential Plaza overlooking Millennium Park, which is on the verge of defaulting on $470 million in loans, two low-profile New York investors are putting in as much as $100 million to take control of the troubled property. But of particular interest here is that the deal marks yet another move by a loosely knit group of five real estate entrepreneurs from the Big Apple who have been steadily buying up office space in the Chicago market in recent years. They've committed almost $1.3 billion in the downtown area since 2007, almost 10% of all sales of office buildings in that time. Our Ryan Ori joins me now with more on this group. Ryan, uh, these five investors here, um, what are some of the, the buildings they've been involved in, some of the big deals uh, in the last few years? Uh, well, aside from the uh, Prudential Plaza deal, um, probably the most uh, known buildings they've been involved in are uh, the Groupon headquarters building at 600 West Chicago and the uh, Civic Opera building on Wacker Drive. Okay, so uh, some notable buildings here, some notable deals, and they've done fairly well. I mean, invested at a time where maybe things were coming down a bit. What do we know about them individually? Is uh, their track record? I mean, are they? Do we know much about them and, and what the kind of deals they do? They've uh, they've been uh, investing for a few years in Chicago. Their timing seems to be good because they. Uh, it's been just in the last few years when uh, real estate values have been down. Um, we'll see what the the long term results are. But to this point, uh, they seem to be uh, able to buy a lot of uh, buildings at a, a pretty reasonable rate. And there's no formal affiliation that they have, right? It's just a, it's a group that sort of when one invests, the others tend to jump on board. There's there's several of them who are uh, are friends and um, you know know each other through real estate in, uh, in other uh, ways as well, and uh, they just kind of choose uh, to invest with each other on a deal by deal basis. Okay, why so much interest from these guys in Chicago? Uh, maybe as opposed to Manhattan, is there anything? Uh, you know, sort of broadly speaking, about office space in the Chicago market, some of these buildings that is attractive to New York investors? In a lot of cases here, they've invested in um, buildings that are uh, distressed or underperforming or in need of some upgrades. And, and they've, uh, New Yorkers in general, have just found uh, Chicago to be a lot lower price per square foot than, than Manhattan, which is, you know, very high. And they feel like they can buy at a level where they can still pour a lot of money into the buildings and still do a lot of you know leasing and, and marketing um, and still uh, be able to uh, to make a profit because of the the rate that they're buying the buildings at right of course the rents are, are far lower here and and those uh, those rise may be a bit slower here is that right than New right York? yeah i mean they're so they're they're not expecting nearly as high end uh rents as uh, as they would get in manhattan but they're they're coming in at a much lower rate uh, and a lot of other things they feel are, are in their favor, uh, as well as, uh, you know, uh, not as much competition in some cases, like a really high profile Manhattan property. Uh, they've said it will have so many bidders at such a high rate that they, they just, just doesn't interest them. All right. Okay, Ryan, well, it's a group to watch. Thanks, Thanks a lot.